Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels, and today the P stands for a PSA. I have a public service announcement. There's someone who works with my sister, not anal backwards, the other one. Hi, how, how are you? I love you, thank you for watching. Please don't ever tell my sister what I call my other sister, which is anal backwards, because it will hurt her feelings, and I shouldn't say it. Oh, she works with a rim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. It's Hi, it's nice to meet you. My sister tells me about you all the time and how you watch my show. She doesn't watch. Nor should she. Our family members should never watch the show. No, and I and thank goodness. The I minute think a they family shouldn't. member's like, hey, I've been tuning in lately, blocked. Speaking of not liking things about you, your hat. Yeah. But we can't, I mean, I love it. Well, because we it's all stars you. and the stars at night are big They're and so bright. bright. But at the very least, we should see your eyes. Can you just lift it or just knock it off your head? Just take it off. And you're in sunglasses too. Fuck. My eyes are really red and irritated. And I think I figured out because I'm using a new... Oh my god, I can't see him. I wouldn't be able to see your eyes even oh, if you Oh, you wouldn't be able off. to either because be of your red color blindness. Thank you. I'm using a new mascara. I think I'm allergic to it. <laughs> De-influenced. Say it. Say their name. Mega Forever Ultra Smoky Aqua Slash. <gasps> Aqua Lash. Listen, you could be allergic to things that are still good for the environment, like mascara. Let's catch up. We need to catch everyone up, okay? So really we quickly. Just, we just did DragCon, and then Absolutely she's bonkers. moving I'm on top literally of in the middle of moving as, all my stuff As right All now. Stars premieres. So we've just been very busy. It's been a very long week, so we're sorry that we're a little behind, but we did go to DragCon, and that footage is now live. So we if had like a to watch blast. Us, we had a blast. We had a blast. I will say this. I didn't know. We didn't know. I always get onto her for her imposter syndrome because I feel like it rules her life. Mm -hmm. But I was feeling it before we went. I was like, mm, why am I getting in my head about this? I'm so silly and quirky and cute. But then we get there. We couldn't walk five steps without because lines forming. Because all of you forming. amazing people kept coming up and wanting pictures and a chat. We loved it. Bitch, we should have gotten a booth. We should have gotten a we, booth. <laughs> we, we might, we might we try maybe, to get a booth next year. We maybe walked two aisles, if that, because we just kept stopping. Because we wanted to, obviously. And I didn't get we to were see, so excited. Yeah, we didn't get to see so many people. But we did I get know. to meet so many of you, which was incredible. I know. Somebody was somebody texted me and was like, how was DragCon? Did you? Because I made a big deal. I, I love that the army was there and I really wanted to go oh, and thank them for their service. Go. Yeah. And I wanted to serve Luke's and we weren't able. Yeah, and we only saw a fourth of DragCon. And we were there for four hours. We just, every step we took, we were so excited yeah. to see everyone. But I realized we made a mistake. We should have done a booth. Oops. We'll do it with next year. It's because we had PTSD from years ago. New York. When we, we did Creek, it. Creek, Panned, New York. It was really because, like, Dita was like, hey, do you want to split a booth with me? And I was like, sure. And it was too early for us. It was, it too, was too early, early for, us. for us. And, and I, I'm like, actually that. had to be the camera person then. That was funny. Now, no, I liked I, that. No, I, wish I didn't we had, like that. I wish I we could have returned to that. I actually hated it. That would have been great. So next year, yes, we are getting a booth for sure. But thank Possibly. you to everyone. Yeah, who came if we up got to meet you, thank you so much. And chatted. But like Lola, but, Shania. But all truly, of them. the bullshit of it all is that she also decided to move within the same week. So thank you for your patience on this yeah. All Stars episode, and thank you for letting us pretend like we don't have eyes. The hills, ma'am, ham, ham. I don't have them. Sorry, I had a stroke in the You know what? Again. Before we get too far into this video, we do need to thank the sponsor of today's video, and of course that is Surfshark. Surfshark. Now, Surfshark is a VPN that keeps your information safe and also allows you to travel around the world so you can see what else the world's got cooking. 100% Darby. Oh, thank you. One of the things that I use it for is truly just the peace of mind. I gotta be honest, mm -hmm. all of my files are on there. And by all of my files, I mean all of our files, okay? IMHO yes. files are on yes, the computer. Honey. And there are internet criminals out there and they're doing this. We have been- This is a magnifying We problem. have had so many but people like try digital. and crack, hack into our database and steal our, you know- Our fives and our tens files of dollars. And our show. But thanks to Surfshark, it keeps my information locked up so that internet criminals cannot get to it. Also, I have been introducing Alexis to some incredible international cinema, 
Televisionissima. Oh, you have! Others. You have! Yeah. And I've only been able to do that because of Surfshark, because I, listen, I love to hear her do her New Zealand accent that she calls Australian. Okay, Jean I Paul fall for it every Jean time. Paul, I, I want you to really take part in the Australian culture. So introducing her to old people's home for toddlers, because she hates old people and toddlers. Yeah. And seeing her hate them in a New Zealand accent, it's kind of Well, fun. it also saves me a lot of time because they're both there at the same time. Yeah, you don't have to I don't have to, to, to hate them homes. separately. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like they so, made it for you. It's nice. I do hate them. But you know what I love? Surfshark. And right now, we have a special offer only for our IMHO viewers. Just for you. If you use code IMHO at checkout, you get three months free. Yeah, Trace. That's a lot. And there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there is no risk, only reward. Mm -hmm. which is not something you can say in today's current economical issues, climates, and stuff. No, there's tons of risks out there, but Surfshark VPN is not one of them. It's mainly just Alexis and back taxes. We have to tax our back? Make sure you use that code at checkout so that you can also share in the excitement of Surfshark. Thank you, Surfshark, for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark does it better. Surfshark does it right. Surfshark. Oh. Did you see the hottest video that's going around town currently? Okay, it's so hot, so hot. RuPaul Architectural Digest. Oh! Malibu Mansion. I gotta be honest, I loved it. I thought it was gorgeous. I loved it. I wanna say this. I only watched the first 20 seconds of it on TikTok. I waited till my husband came home because we love to watch architecture. Oh, your husband digest. loves architecture. Well, he just loves like indoors, design, clothes, indoor and designs. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. We watched it and I loved it. I will say I didn't get to see enough of her. Like, I wanted to see her bedroom. We didn't see her bedroom, right? Oh, you didn't watch it. So there were things missing that I wish I'd seen. However, it's not my style, but goddamn, it's done so well. It's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. And I just, I, I just, listen, we talk about this show as people who have watched it for years and have made it literally our job. So sometimes we can get a little jaded. Sometimes we can get a little mm, get judgmental. A little and it doesn't happen that often. I'm so easygoing. But I just want to say, I love RuPaul. I'm so, <laughs> so happy for her. The whole time she's like walking around and she's like showing her old costumes. She's like, there's history in this room. And I was like, yes, there is, Mama Ru. You're historical. I don't know. I was really oh, excited. Oh, that's sweet. I got some of the jade fell off. And I, it, I was left with the Jolie that just, it shone. And I loved it. Um, Oh, I love that. Isn't that nice? Check it out. Darby, we have to get into All Stars 8 because we have a whole lot of stars and oh a God. whole lot of looks to go through. We have over 40 looks to go through. Okay, so we are gonna do, we're not gonna Jesus. do rapid fire because we are, of course, we talk. We talk. gonna devolve. You know that. But we're just gonna keep our answers to like quick ones and then the ones that really move us. We'll and we go mean through. quick by uh, like our standards. Yeah, we'll so, just, yeah. This will still be a two hour episode. Let's start by what I thought was the most shocking shocking yet exciting oh! given to us, which is RuPaul and her pussycat wig. I'm obsessed. I loved it. I can't, I can't, I love it. I hope Monet Exchange had to burn all of her wigs in front of Ru yeah. while she just smiled. I just watched that video of, remember when Monet Exchange jumped off a building in like a harness where it like slides you down? She's wearing a wig kind of oh, like that. Oh, yes. And she's falling. I, I would do that. Would you do that? Jump off a building? With like a harness and Eventually. stuff. Eventually. It's like a bit... <laughs> I think that point is coming. Entering first. Okay, we haven't done these. We I'm have. So excited. Oh yeah, our camera broke mid, <laughs> mid nah. reveal. Okay, entering with her mouth first. Entering mouth first. Mouth I've first. I've done that. I've done that, ladies. Heidi in closet. Ooh, I think it's cute. She looks so good. I like the bag is my favorite part, and I love the branding, and I just think she's adorable, and her I makeup can't looks tell so good. What the fabric is, which makes me like it even more. It's kind of stiff and odd, and I love that. Also, her makeup is looking great. I'm so proud of her. I sat behind her at the Drag Queen of the Year pageant. Oh, yeah. oh fuck, we have to talk about, I wanna hear about that. What? I didn't even get to hear about it. Is it was it, was fun. it fun? Yeah. I'm sorry I couldn't we, go. That, you were pack, you were literally moving, but thank you for I did get a, I did get a lot I done. To I did get a lot done. Yeah. And I got nothing done. Veronica and I went and thank you to Tracy for getting us comps. You know, we're in the industry. So we were kind of sat in the middle of 
all of the celebrities. Like we were in the no! middle. We were in the middle of all the comps. Were you in Orc? Oh what? Orchestra? Yeah, you know like where the judges sit off to the side, couple rows of judges, and then like any kind of drag race celebrity girl and us in the middle. So I was sitting right behind Heidi. Getting to watch Heidi respond to things she likes is my greatest joy. She is this bubbly and excitable and delightful in real life. <gasps> and I felt like I was getting a private show. Sorry, that sounds creepy as fuck. But just her cute little laugh and she was so happy for everybody. And I was like, you are this nice in real life, you fucking bitch. I loved her. So she looks great. We are ready to fall into that gap. Watch, mind, mind it. Oh, I don't mind the gap. Okay. Mrs. Kasha Davis. Oh, precious. I, would, I liked it. I wouldn't wear it. I wouldn't want anyone I, probably, I love to wear it. I probably, but I love, would, I probably would wear this. I think this makes sense for her age. <laughs> yes, I think it's, it's age appropriate. It's age and appropriate. it's Mrs. Kasha. And it's got sequin. It's two court. colors. That's all you need. Red and black, venom black. Remember that if you ever see a snake. Red and yellow can kill a fellow. Red and black, venom black. Black and yellow. Good song. Up next, we have Nisha, Nisha Lopez. Lopez. She just got out of prison, and she didn't even have time to change. Did she really go to prison? Yes. Now, we love Nisha Lopez. Yeah, that's what they wear in prison nowadays. I mean, she looks gorgeous. Really I love that pant. It's so gorgeous. I just don't understand why. Has she been to prison in real life, and is she, like, sort of taking the piss out? That was so British of you. Thank you, because of Surfshark. I don't know what the reference is either, but I think it's gosh darn cute. I like Nisha. I think she looks great. I just didn't understand the reference. Yeah, I agree. Kahana <gasps> Montrese. Kahana Montrese. Stunning. Showgirl. No, I, mean, I loved Vegas. her in her first season. I thought she was beautiful. Mm, yes. Um, like naturally but... beautiful. Right, but drag was bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, who are we? We're here to have opinions. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're wearing sunglasses but indoors. But she looks incredible. And this is Vegas. This is, she's saying, this is who I am. Right, and not to get too far ahead. Well, to get two episodes ahead, I'm worried. Ooh, I love to worry for no reason, okay? I said this year was going to be the year that I don't worry, but I realize that it's what makes me me. I do worry that maybe we'll see just too much Vegas. Oh. But just because I like to worry. Well, it's one of those things. But she's beautiful. I, it's all really good, though. And it's so finished and polished, which That's is, the thing is leaps and bounds. If it's still from where too much Vegas, was. but it's too much polished, clean, I'll take beautiful, it. Yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. There's a him there. There's a him there. Candy Muse. Oh, I love I her. I loved this look. Yeah, so I love cute. the color. I love the cut. She is a girl that loves to show off her legs. Hi, same. I always love her hair. I really love her makeup. Her paint is stunning. It is a lot of blush, but as someone who struggles to see lighter colors of reds and pinks, I appreciate it. Yeah. Because I promise you, I see your blush. I'm, I'm happy she's back on TV. Me too. She's great TV. Darian Lake. <sighs> she looks stunning. She looks really pretty. She lost 200 pounds. 200? But not in her boobs where it counts. Oh, no, no, no. She made sure that the weight remained in her butt and her boobs. And I want to say thank I you. I love, I mean, she was season six, which. What a good season. What doesn't seem like that long ago in the span of time, but also it was like 17 oh, it was 100 years seasons ago. ago. Yeah. So I'm glad we're seeing her. I think she's beautiful and funny. Monica Beverly Hills. <gasps> so cute. So cute. It gave little, me true little, Beverly Hills. True Beverly. Oh! With trans colors. True Monica Beverly Hills. I loved it. Cute. And Love I'm her. so happy to see her back. Yeah. Then we have James Mansfield doing James Mansfield. <sighs> but doing it well. Listen, she will give you the same thing. Well, I say that until episode two and she gave us something so different it blew my mind. But she will give you the same thing, but god damn, it's going to be finished. Yeah. That's good. This is a signature James Mansfield look and it is done very That's well. That's a good way to come in yeah. if you're not going to do a gimmick. Just come in in a really strong and version of you. And what you do so well. I love yeah. that. <sighs> That sounded just like her. Oh. Wait, I love <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's her signature phrase. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm Team Smith. <laughs> it got worse. Wait. It started off pretty good. She uh, does really, uh, she accesses uh, that. Yeah. Uh, up next. Alexis. Michelle. Okay, so. 
I think she looks great. She looks outrageously beautiful. I love her orange hair. I love her slutty black dress. And I loved her opening line. It was a reference to Sunset Boulevard. Did you catch it? What was it? I know my way around here. Because she came up with a gypsy line first in her first go round. And then she does Sunset Boulevard in the next bit. Yeah. Oh, wow. We love a theater queen. I love consistent. a theater queen. I just love Alexis Michelle. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Candy Muse has a gorgeous paint. However, no one in this cast, for me, not me, can touch Alexis Michelle's face. You it shouldn't is... touch Alexis Michelle's face. No, if you and see I her, tried, and she she said, just no, just try to be respectful of people's no. faces. She'll burst into tears. We'll get to that later. Yeah. No, she looks outrageous. So good. Then we have Jessica <gasps> Wilde. Jessica Wilde, all the way back from season two, gold. I think she looks really good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that, I, I like that there's so much of it. Then we have Jimbo. Jimbo, a very controversial look. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so funny and stupid. I know there's a lot of discourse on the internet. Have it out there where truly you're gonna argue with the wall, but I get that it's not for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember I said there's something in Jimbo that scares me and I'm nervous. Cause you think this is a real body that she just skinned someone and slipped into maybe. it. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah, I see that. But goddamn, if she's not so good at this. She's so good She at was drag. also sitting in front of me at the... <gasps> Jimber? Yeah. Oh, I was coming goodness. down the stairs and I saw Blue and her husband. <gasps> oh! And then I chatted with Did them for a while. Did they say anything about me? Nope. And I chatted with them for a while. They asked about Curtis, though. And JB. They asked about the dog. But not me. No, you didn't come up at all. Blue introduced me to Jimbo and, I mean, I just said hello. And Do you think she had that. any idea who you... She didn't, like, go... When she said Darby, she was just like, your name's Darby? Oh, hi, I'm Jimbo. And I was like, yeah, I know. And she's taller than me out of drag. She might've been in boots. Okay, that's hot. I know. Then we have our final entrant, Lala Ree. Lala Ree. Okay, I want to be honest. I want to be vulnerable. I love Lala Ree. I'm so glad same. she's back. I'm same. so excited. Same. For the Lala Ree experience. 100% same. These glasses with the lenses in the center just They're make me so... think of a minion. I know. Like she only has one eye. One eye. eye. I know. They're so close <laughs> together. But it's cool. I see what she's going for. And but it's cool. That was my, because I think in the reveal, of the cast, that was my kind of critique of Lala Ree is that I think she's coming back with more polish. Absolutely. I don't think we'll have another bag gate like we did, although we'll see. Although it put her on the map. It did put her on the map, but it's the details. I just want one more person maybe in the room who's like, hey, I'm taking a step back here. Your or eyes are crazy. maybe there's too many people in the room. And she needs to kill a couple of them, contact Nasha. She just got out she of prison. She just got out of that. prison. Yeah. So we move on to the mini challenge, which is just a runway, which I love. And it's famous past. Famous past. Famous from, from famous, uh, famous now. Famous then and, and famous, famous now. now. Thank you. And then the runway. I want there. to know, and famous forever, yes. I want to know what it actually said on the sheet that they get. Because you know they get the sheet with all the looks that they're gonna need. Yeah. When they film, sometimes they will change what it's actually called, like famous then, famous now, famous forever, right? That's what the producers came up with for Rue to say. But I doubt that's what the look said. Like, I wanna know what they were told. They were all like picking an actual famous person, except for some of them weren't. Right. But then some of them didn't say who they were. Like right. Heidi was- uh, Who knows? I, yeah, let, we'll go through it. Yeah. But I just, the prompt was confusing Do to you want me. me to call someone real quick and ask? That would be so nice, but yeah. your phone is out of reach. I'm sorry, you can't. Well, no, no it's right. I don't, honestly, I don't want you to rip this gorgeous, what is this, a curtain? Up first, from the past, <laughs> we have Alexis Michelle as Norma, Norma Desmond. Desmond. Now she she looks incredible, beautiful, she looks outrageously, yeah, beyond. and perfectly Norm, perfect Norma Desmond. And if anyone's gonna be Norma Desmond, it's yeah. Alexis Michelle. Yeah, it's somebody named Alexis. Up next is Kahana Montrese as just beautiful. Maybe she was giving Elizabeth Hurley in Showgirls in Maybe. the Versailles. Or like it did kind of give me. It's velvet. It did kind of give me, me like a thirties, forties. I said Elizabeth Hurley, and I misspoke. Her name is Elizabeth. Taylor. She was the star of Showgirls. I'm so sorry. Kahana looks gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous, but I don't understand it. But, like, but gorgeous. stunning. Speaking of don't understand. <laughs> 
up next, Heidi in Closet. Now, Heidi in Closet, I think, was a porcelain doll. I saw on the internet, Twitter or something, she explained her look. I think she was an old porcelain doll. Famous then. That her grandma used to have around the house. So it was and famous fam to her grandmother. Yeah. Huh. I like it. It's cool. I didn't understand. Her face I think the broken. face, the cracked face yeah. was the porcelain. But I like the garment and I like, the, you know I go hard for a parasol. Oh, I loved the garment. I go super hard for a parasol and a bonnet. And Heidi is one that I won't say misses the details because she has such incredible little finishing touches to all of her looks. Even if I don't understand the look, I can really appreciate it. Even her shoes matching perfectly to the dress, the bows on her legs. She looks great. I yeah. don't get it. I don't have to get it. She looks the, but great. this is exact. I do think you're onto something there. I think there was a switcheroo in the in the title of the I think, thing. I think they do that a lot. Girls have come out in the past and been like, "This was the prompt." I don't know why it changed, but that's yeah. why I looked so crazy. So maybe the prompt was like, "Was something your grandma old, broke?" Old timey or whatever. My grando had a collection of Dickens houses. You know, little houses that you put up at Christmas, but she had them all year round. And we'd always fight and say, when you die, I get them, or whatever. They were up all year? Mm-hmm. She wow. collected them. I think after my papa died, she, she needed, needed to do it. something. Bible Girl keeps her Christmas tree up year round. Is hers real, though? Is it just, like, twigs, Charlie Brown style? <laughs> yeah, no? just slowly becoming a fire hazard. Honestly, at first, I was like, I don't know how I feel about that, but Bible Girl has the success I can dream of. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe I should put a tree in every room. Mrs. Kasha <gasps> Davis as Lucille Ball uh, in, in the Zigfield Follies. Zigfield Girl. I loved this. Was this from Zigfield Follies or Zigfield Yes, Girl? it's one of those. What was the movie? Judy Garland did one called Zigfield so Girl, and she starred with Hedy Lamar. And Hedy Lamar was a gorgeous movie star. I think she was German or Austrian. Anyway, she invented Wi-Fi during World War II. Hedda Gobbler? Who? Hedy Lamar. Oh, yeah. how's about a daily fast car? Or you start on Jack Parr? How about a date with Hedy Lamar? You're gonna get it. That's from a Little Shop of Horror. She invented Wi-Fi. This looks just like the reference photo, and I'm so proud of Mrs. Kasha Davis. There are a bunch of old movies. I think this is Zigfield Follies, where it's just different vignettes, grand stages. Busby Berkeley. And they're so beautiful. I was obsessed with watching them when I was little. And you're right. She, it's Zigfield Follies. And she comes but out of Judy this Garland's like Judy Garland's in that one too. She comes out, yeah, because they're they're all in they're all in all of them. Because it was big like um, mm -hmm. studios uh -huh. vibes when and they, they would just get, do little when vignettes. they would do because back then mm -hmm. they didn't have Pokemon cards, no. so all the celebrities were Pokemon cards, and it was like you you're only in this in studio the and you have to yeah. you know get mm -hmm. whatever. And this one, she comes out in a gorgeous carousel, and it's a lot of them like walking down grand staircases, yeah. and then some dance numbers. Ah. Do you know who Zigfield's wife was in real life? Hedda Gabler? Glinda from oh, The Wizard from the of movie? Oz, Billy Burke. But I'm so proud of her. It's she looks so, so good. good. I hope we see more of that from her. It is I hope we start gorgeous. to see it. I mean, she looks yeah. absolutely stunning. Then we have Nisha Lopez. Nisha Lopez in like a Coco Chanel moment. Cute. Number one, Coco Chanel was a Nazi. Number two, I think it makes her look like a boxy rectangle, like an Amazon package. I don't think this is necessarily flattering to her, and she's so drop-dead gorgeous. This feels like a big old miss for me. Yeah. Okay, then we have Candy Muse. Oh, as RuPaul, as RuPaul. herself. I love this interpretation. I, I think she looks incredible. It. I love her body. I love the proportions of the garment. And because her blush is so goddamn pink, it matching perfectly with the pink on the bottom. Chef's kiss. Beautiful. And this was before we had seen Lux Nor London's kind of odes to RuPaul, too. There's been a lot of odes to RuPaul in the runways lately. Yeah, and it's brilliant. I mean... Ru-frances. Up next, the, probably the most confusing of all for me, Darian Lake. What is this? What is this? What is this? Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, yeah, yes, of course. Let me tell you. Okay, what is it? So... Can you tell me what that is? No. I like the colors together. I like those colors together, and I think she looks vampy and sultry and sexy. I think it looks like she got lost at a renaissance fair. 
Then we have Monica Beverly Hills. Oh, Monica Beverly Hills. She's giving Cleopatra vibes. Is that okay to say? Yeah. That was, I mean, that was the giving, point, I think. Yeah, I think it was the point. She looks beautiful. She looks beautiful. I love beautiful. this hair on her. They did a close-up of the fabric of her cape, and it is a printed fabric. I wish she had had time to rhinestone it. Yeah. Because from a distance, it looks like it's In the impactful. still, it looks really cool, actually. The, the wings look like they're coming from her. But when they would close up and stuff, I'd be like, oh. You know how I feel about that's a, lot a cape of that's not yards and yards of fabric. I know you love a flowy. So I wish that it was a little more flowy. Yeah, I could see that. But she's stunning. And it's getting the prompt right, kind of. Because Cleopatra truly, was, what was really famous. And, and old. And then? Then we have James Mansfield. Oh, now, this is so gorgeous She looks to absolutely me. outrageously gorgeous. And there's a reveal. So we get to see some James Mans titties. <laughs> Yeah, we get to field some yeah, titties. titties. I loved this Incredible. Look. I want to look at it so a lot. so good. So beautiful. Then we're back to Egypt. With a Nefertiti moment. Jessica Wilde, I much prefer this one. I like this. I yeah, know. I mean, if, if we have to pick one, I would definitely pick this one as well. I think it's just because it's so much more bold. You're not getting lost in it. Maybe that's why I wanted the rhinestones with Monica's, so that there was some sort of separation between the cape and what she was wearing. Yeah. I don't know if it would I just love depth. a flowy. I, I love a flowy. Oh, Jimbo. Then we have Jimbo. Jimbo came this out was... as Marilyn Monroe in The Seven Year Itch. But with, so we've seen Marilyn Monroe a million times, but with the wires to make the dress constantly up. Brilliant. I loved it. I thought it was so good. That is one thing, unless you're coming out on the this runway. This is third time around. Yeah, unless polished. unless you're coming out in the most gorgeous gown I've ever seen in my life, which does happen in the next episode. Everything you bring to the runway on All Stars needs to have something else. There needs to be a little oomph. There needs to be some sort of take to it. Yeah. You know, you can't just come out in pretty gowns. And this is a take? This is a take, baby. This is a take. This is a take. We're taking. And finally, we have La La Ree. Okay, I loved this. I forgot to look up the reference. Was it Dorothy Dandridge? I think she said that. They didn't say it on the episode. Michelle said it after. I think it's gorgeous. You know the TikTok sound that's like, this is a sleigh, partial sleigh. I don't know what's happening. A yes. sleigh on Christmas. This is giving me sleigh, sleigh on, on Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. It kind of took my breath away when she first lifted her arm. And I was like, oh, because you know I love a matchy fabric, matchy fabric, matchy fabric. So the fact that she's wearing head to toe, including gloves, the exact same fabric, I loved. The fur did read a little cheap, but... I think it took it into a holiday moment. But it, was, it might be a recreation of a specific I say, garment. I you know what I mean? this. That fur and feathers is murder. Well, no, because you yeah. just shave them. You can keep them alive. Oh, no, I guess they do skin them, don't they? <gasps> it is murder. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta get rid of a couple things. <laughs> Fur and feathers, nice ones, are expensive as hell. So I can understand maybe not wanting to spend your entire budget on that. That was the one little like, mm. but I don't know, had that not been on the bottom, maybe I would be saying, no, I wish I there was fur there. I didn't care. I think it's probably a recreation of a specific look. Yeah, she looks great. Which is, again, why? what is the what was the prompt? <laughs> we don't know! And could we have seen the side by side? Could we? Let's move on to our famous now, which is current, like modern day fame, I guess. Famous people or what? Like fame what a means modern take you, on fame? Or what's oh, it, what is I your when you know. when I say what does fame look like? What do you think it is? I guess if I'm just thinking of fame on like what I see every day, TikTok. Ah! I think TikTok <laughs> stars. Listen, we. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I would have probably leaned towards a Jimbo or a Lala Ree in this, and I would have said like something social media ish. Oh yeah, yeah. What about I you? Would have said um, Adele. Adele Dazeem. Yeah, yeah who so was famous. our guest judge later on? Yeah, she's so famous right I now. I would have said like. Um, Take your time. Okay. Thank you. I feel safe. <laughs> Okay, 
Alexis Michelle as Kim Kardashian. <laughs> it's kind of brilliant, it's, and I kind of love it. It's brilliant. I wish it had she been... She looked so good. I mean, she did. I wish it had been someone else, solely because, to me, Alexis Michelle's face gives me goosebumps, but goddamn. It was maybe fun. Maybe because it was her, that was even more of an impact. I yeah. loved it. Great job, Alexis. Really brilliant. The other one I was talking to her, not you. Oh. Now we have... Kahana Montrees. As Lil Nas X. This took my breath away. I fucking loved it so and I good. knew exactly who it was I am listen now that we have fame games where they get to walk the runway and everything they brought and then the winner of that gets fifty thousand dollars Kana may make it all the way but if she doesn't no one is beating this bitch in the fame games there's no way yeah everything she's brought is so spectacular polished like Vegas She's leaning into the Vegas of it all. I mean, she was working before she got on the show the first time, and we still felt like she had a lot of growth to do, but she had already started growing, okay? We just saw that speed up pretty quickly. I feel you, Kahana. Are you gonna go see Josh Groban, Ash Annalie Ashford? No. Okay. We live in LA. Yeah, but like... Fly to New York? I, you know, I don't, I'm not a... I don't like plays. I don't like to sit through live things. The, how long was the Alaska pageant? Oh, I kept getting up to get more wine. I had about $100 worth of wine, which is like three cups. Hell yeah. Up next, a lot of questions. <laughs> this entire category for me and Heidi, I don't understand. It's very cute. I love the bow. I, I love, love the, the hair. I love the look. But I just I'm not don't gonna understand what it means. I absolutely adore the look. I just don't get it. I feel like Heidi got completely different prompts from everyone else. Let me just see if she mentions it. Okay, and her Instagram does not give us any clues. Then we have Mrs. Kasha Davis as Kris Jenner. Mrs. Kasha Davis as Liza Minnelli until she put out the phone, and then it was Kris Jenner. But that's mm -hmm. Liza Minnelli. Yeah. But I guess they're both. Kris Jenner is very close to Eliza, okay? The minute yeah. Kris Jenner starts to get back into quaaludes, we got Eliza's situation on our hands. And the minute, and the minute Liza gets out of quaaludes, we're just happy she's alive. Don't put any more pressure on her. I met her at a Borders. For me, this looked like... Serviceable. Safe. I thought maybe she brought it for an acting challenge. Yeah. Then we have Nasha Lopez. Oh, she looks beautiful. Doing Versace, kind of Jennifer Lopez. This was brilliant. Yeah, beautiful. And what a beautiful save from the first look. Yeah. What a, what a great comeback. Stunning. Then we have Candy Muse. I don't know what it was referencing, but goddamn, she looks so good. Yeah, it was kind of like Veronica Lake sultry, but like futuristic. It was really pretty. It was gorgeous. I mean, she looked like a pop star. Pop star at Cannes. Or like a rapper. Pop star at Cannes Film Festival or something. She looked kind of like um, Baby Spice. Not the hair, Oppie, but like... Ice Spice. What did I say? Baby Spice. Well, she was a baby at one point. Then we have this. I'm oh, sorry, this, oh, this is the best. This, took, this is this my favorite. Sent me. This, this took is me my minute. favorite. Darian Lake as Billy Eilish. Darian Lake. <laughs> this you read is. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> I love it. It's Billy Eilish. I love it. It's iconic. This is the this best is look of the night. Darian. This is if incredible. You, if you don't start selling these shirts, yeah. you have made a mistake. I want to see a video of Billie Eilish seeing this for the first time. Let's try to imagine it, okay? Yeah. You're Billie Eilish. She's at the door. Oh, that's JB, not Billie Eilish. You're 21 years old. Mm. Okay, picture it. a couple it. years ago, yeah. You just cracked open a beer legally. You feel on top of the world. You turn on your favorite TV show. And then you see a 50-year-old drag queen dressed as you. <laughs> <laughs> she I would mean, spit take. she would spit take. It is. Yes. Listen, Darian, I'm sorry. This It's funny. It's really funny. I think that's why she did. I think she knows. It's so brilliant. I cannot wait for this merch. It got into Evan Ross, Ross Katz. What do you mean? Evan Ross Katz oh, he made like posted a little thing? this on his Instagram. Oh, it's, it's made the trade. It's iconic. Like, it's made. It's iconic. Iconic. Monica Beverly Hills. Yes, now she was supposed to be, uh, she is a little bit of a, oh, what's her name? <sighs> Woo ah. What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> what's her name? Woo ah. Woo ah. Oh, she did the, she did the, lucky, lucky girl. Nice isn't. 
No, 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 daddy's getting hot. That song with him. Kim Petras? With them. Kim Petras. Oh. She goes, woo ah. Yeah, it's her thing. Oh, okay. Or it was. I don't know. This is. <laughs> uh, she it's... looks really pretty. Yeah, she looks cute. I wish there was a little more. It is fame now. Like, you would definitely see I wish her getting boots... papped. I would love for the boots to match what she's wearing, like to be the exact same pattern. I love the mono look. Like I love when everything matches. Yeah. But I mean, she but she's looks, gorgeous. Yeah, she looks stunning. Then we had James Mansfield as Jojo Siwa. Incredible, iconic. Good. Iconic. Really funny, really good. Wouldn't but, expect it from her. And she'll her. be there next week, so I hope that James was able to oh, Jojo? show her a little picture. I loved it. What a stupid thing for James Mansfield to Yeah. Play. But that's James Mansfield for ya. I'm here. For the James Mansfield redemption. I feel very secure in James's place position on this, show. on this show. I completely agree. Like I'm not worried for her. Not at all. I think the And other she girls even said herself, her. she was like, I was pretending like I belonged here in season nine, but she really does belong here. Yeah, I'm so proud of her. Yeah. It looks so Truly. good. Congrats. Then we have Jessica Wilde doing a Bad Bunny tribute. I loved it. Without hearing Bad Bunny, immediately I was like, this is kind of like Bad Bunny. And then yeah. they said Bad Bunny and I was like, <gasps> But it's also I'm just so like young. it's also just like so good. It's so fucking good. It's Jessica so Wilde's waist beautiful. is Ooh. tiny. Sorry, you can see that. Episode, whole the next episode, the next episode, even smaller. I, I want to talk about her waist. Oh, yeah, that's tough. That's gonna be a tough one for me. Then we had Jimbo with the like me and follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on the back. I think that's kind of fun. But the hair is what really sells it for me. I the think... hair is a thumbs up. Yeah. No, the hair's great. That's so fucking cool. Did you notice though, and I loved the editors not showing it, the me, one of the sides of the me came loose and it fell. When she makes her way down, you can see like me. And then <laughs> as they show her, everything else is very clearly waist up, waist up. And then in the same vein, but definitely in a different finish is yeah. La La Ri. I think doing OnlyFans, but, but she called Ruly it fans. Ruly because of RuPaul. And then on the back it said subscribe. It looked like she had drawn those letters on a piece of paper she found in the workroom and cut them out right before. Yeah. That was tough. That was tough. That's what I'm talking about with Lala Ree is there's these little finishing touches. It worries me that we're not going to see that this season. Well, her. she looks great. The body looks great. Agreed. My issue, my main issue with this is the wordplay doesn't make sense. Oh, it makes no sense. No. Ruli fans. I get what she's going for, but maybe if it was like only frack, you know what I mean? Or like only fracks. I just said how proud I was of RuPaul for having her Beverly Hills mansion. And you're going to bring that up? She wouldn't be where she is without I am still it. proud of her. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, uh. Speaking of Mama Ru, let's take it to the runway. Because again, we have more looks let's to get Let's highlight through. this look from Mama Ru in this highlighter yellow. I love it. Outrageous. I love it. Gorgeous. I love it. Perfect. We also have a guest judge. We have someone doing Michelle Visage cosplay, Adele Dazeem. Adele Dazeem. It is very funny to me. That's yeah. Michelle Visage. That's Michelle That's Visage. Michelle Visage. Circa, circa season four or five. So good. So then they're... they're okay, so this is just like I'm Famous sorry. Forever, but it's like your best drag. Your best drag. Whatever. Yeah. Again, the Famous Forever is something I doubt that they knew. I doubt that was the prompt that they were given and it's just what they said. I really want a copy copy of that sheet. Can I get a copy of that sheet? Any of you girls, can I get a copy of the sheet? The Here, prompt? well, let me see whose number I have. You know what? I Facebook messaged um, Alexis Michelle. <laughs> In 2012. Like, I bet so maybe we can maybe we can Facebook FaceTime her. Yeah, just... that's that's actually a really good idea. While well, you're playing uh, with Facebook. So the prompt was your best drag, forever famous, whatever. Yeah. So Alexis Michelle came out, the color Duke, the color. Yeah, the color is gorgeous. The one glove and then one of the sleeves is just like a little tiny off the shoulder. I'm sorry, she looks perfect. Yeah, beautiful. I'm sorry, she looks perfect. And I don't have an issue with the fact that it's such a simple gown because it is your signature drag. The hair's a little smaller than I would want, but yeah, it's beautiful. She's kind of, I've noticed a lot of girls lately are leaning into smaller hairstyles. What What do you think that is? I think it's okay if you have the proportions and Pollution. I think she does. She looks gorgeous. I would never let myself go that route because it doesn't look good. Is I think good? it does look good. On I, don't th I don't feel comfortable and confident in the portions of it. You'll get there one day. It's what I say every time you make me wear something small and then you're like, you look so good. I don't feel good. Oh, is that your point? You want to break me. Way. You're way harder on, on yourself and maybe others. Than the situation than is necessary. Warrants. I completely agree. 
Although, can I tell you, we went to Sharky's last night. <gasps> Did you get the tostada? No, I'm I got the quesadilla. It. Oops. I know I'm not supposed to eat quesadillas. I have high cholesterol. It's okay. But next to the where you pay, there's a salsa bar. So this, unfortunately, extremely hot man came oh. to pick up his food right before us. And then he walked over to the salsa bar, tries to pick up one of the salsa containers off the end of the salsa bar and knocks three of them onto the ground. And he does this. And then just went oh. to the salsa bar and started getting a salsa. But you said he was hot. So I looked at Curtis and I was like, did he just look down at them and then just move on? You know, I love, I want to take a Karen down. I really do. But I was like, let me wait. Maybe he's thinking I've got the one in my hand that I am going to use. Let me fill this up first and then I'll grab those. Like maybe that was his thought process. It's a stupid thought, but maybe it was. Nope. He reaches for another one, fills up another one. And at this point, a couple people have had to like walk over what he's thrown onto the ground. And I'm like, fuck it. I don't want someone, cause I could see someone stepping on it and getting hurt. So when he came back down to grab yet another thing, not even looking at the mess he made, I picked them up and I went, don't worry, I got it. And he goes, oh, thank you. And I was like, yeah, you obviously weren't gonna do it. And did you say that? I did. And then I had my food. Curtis was at the salsa bar. I ran out. <laughs> I just don't think I'm meant oh, to confront Karen as much as I want to. You really want a Karen He was so situation. hot. He was so hot. Hot people don't have to pick up things for themselves. Someone else will do it. He stared at it. He stopped and stared. And you could tell the wheels were moving. <laughs> and he decided, nope, not my problem. <laughs> not good. Not good. Darien Lake in a gold peplum embellished Oh, it's leopard, gown but it's leopard. sequin. Yeah. I thought it was pretty. I liked it. Looked it looked heavy as fuck. Oh, Cause it looks mama. like the entire skirt and peplum are rhinestoned and jeweled. And then it kind of fades out over her tits. So I loved that. I thought that was so I thought it was cool. really cool. I'm over peplum. Is peplum back? Are we going back to peplum? Uh, what did the P stand for today? PSA? Yeah, no peplums. <laughs> You heard it here first. <laughs> Up next, we have Heidi in Closet. Now, she did mention oh, that this was a nod, a nod to Fifth Element. To Fifth Element. Which, love. I mean, this is... I love this. Oh, I love it so it's much. so good. It's, it's so good. The drama, the fabric, the structured, Now, this the kind hair. of beginning of a peplum into a full skirt. Now, I will take that peplum. Well, that's just a high-low skirt. This is like the hint of a peplum. It's the beginning of a peplum. It's, it's like the a mere suggestion it's of like a, a peplum. It's like a pip. It's like a pip. Oh, true. Then we have Kana Montrese. Out of the ashes, a phoenix rises and, and goes to Las Vegas. Incredible. Yeah. Really, no really cool. Her tits did look really far forward, though. Tits out for the boys. Tits, tits out for the boys. Is that a Bette Midler song? Candy Muse has like a little cat. Candy maybe? Muse? Is that a cat? I think she was a red hot. I loved it. I love that I it kind of stopped too short and she had just like a red string of her ass. I love how she dresses her body. Her body is perfect. And at first I was like, oh, that stops too short. That looks a little strange. But it it's like, the proportions are good. But yeah, but as she moved forward, I was like, that's exactly what it needed to do. I loved it. Then we have Naysha Lopez. Naysha Lopez. Elsa is a brunette, as Adina Menzel said. Did you feel like this was her signature drag? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Something better. Like, like a gown or something like, like showing off her legs. This is just like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And like the hair is just off, it's like Bride of Frankenstein, I don't know. It just it wasn't my favorite. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I love how little your voice is this day. Up next. <laughs> James Mansfield. Oh, Glamour. You know that? Okay, you know that movie Oliver and Company? Yes, of course. And Bette Miller plays that poodle. Yes, yeah, she does. And she like wakes up and she gets all ready and then she comes downstairs. She sings that song, Perfect Isn't Easy. This is the embodiment of that. She looks like a gorgeous poodle. Yeah. From olden days. It's exactly what they asked for. Your signature drag in the highest glamour. It's James way. Mansfield. It's James Mansfield. Up. Up, up, up to a 10. Yeah, it's the number 10. And it is 10. That's a lot of James Mansfields. I could handle maybe two. 
10. Then we have Jessica Wilde in this kind of biker slash like circus. Oh yeah, ringleader. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. It's kind of rocker chick. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. I it's not too. The more I look at it, I just don't like. I sound like Marcel the shovel shoes on. <laughs> you do. You do. You need to give that. What's that character's name? Marcel the shovel shoes on. No, your little voice. Oh, Tony with an eye. <laughs> Up next, we have Jimbo. I loved this. This was the this brain. Is is the hair. brain is hair. Damn, this is good. It's really good. Damn, this is so good. And that butt thing that she she the butt thing like yeah. a bustle is good. A brain butt to match brain the proportions butt. of her giant. Because let's brain be honest, titties. sometimes your brain is in your ass. Sometimes you feel like a butt, and sometimes you don't. And sometimes you wear a butt. That's not your real butt. But then people say, oh my God, I love your butt. And you respond as if they're talking about your actual butt. And you say, oh my God, thank you. Then you go home, you take off the butt. And then it suddenly occurs to you, they weren't complimenting your butt. They were complimenting that silicone you bought off Amazon. They don't like your butt. Nobody likes your butt. It's so flat and long. But queer to award winning. Then we have La La Rie. Oh, this was really pretty. This is, I think even Rue said, this is so far beyond anything she had on her initial season. Yeah. I was so excited for her. And yeah. you could tell she felt gorgeous. She looked stunning. Now, finishing touches. The hair to me was an odd choice for this. This is such a regal, elegant, pageanty type thing. Oh, the hair takes it to almost like a Mrs. Lovett place. Yes. Yes, yeah. that's exactly it. I just wanted something a little more sculpted, a little more pageant to kind of match the outfit. Yeah. But again, that's just like a little finishing touch thing that I know eventually, not this season maybe, but she'll get there, she'll get there. Then we have Monica Beverly Hills. Very cute. It didn't really give the glamour I wanted. I wanted yeah. like a gown or something. Now, signature drag, I didn't mind it because if you know Monica Beverly Hills, she is going to show up in a bejeweled bodysuit that will blow you away. Yeah, it looks That when gorgeous. you see her in real life, I promise you the TV did no justice to this. I'm sure in person it's even more gorge. The thing that bothered me were the shoes. If we had had a matching shoe, maybe a shoe that had the lace Went all, all the, the way up. up, or like a shoe that came up into a garter. Yeah, that one of those been pants cool shoes. Shit. Yeah, or... but she—I mean, she still looks gorgeous. Then we have, this was so weird. Then we have Mrs. Kasha Davis and she's wearing a helmet, which I thought was so funny. Now this is definitely more what I expect to see for Mrs. Kasha Davis. Can I be honest? Yeah. I wouldn't wear that hair. I would wear that dress in a heartbeat. Well, right. I would wear that dress and coat in a heartbeat. I love it. I think we, honestly, I think we can all tell that. I think we've seen you. me wear, yeah. wear something like that. I want to wear it. But she looks good. I mean, it's not my favorite, but I think it fits her brand so well. And very age appropriate. 100%. I would certainly let her read to my kids. I'm kidding. Yeah. I don't want my kids to ever learn to read. Now, what did they do? Did they do a musical number or whatever? This particular challenge, they had to do a music off. They took the song that producers oh, of Drag Race wrote one, in the 80s. One song, which two was, different versions. Which is not always my favorite, but no, I did really enjoy the fact that they picked this bizarre song from two of the producers of the show. 50 years ago. 50 years, that's so funny. They did rock versus disco. Was it a song that I wanted to hear twice? No. no. No, it really wasn't. So I was even less invested in the second group than I was in the first. I do want to give a shout out to Darian Lake for making the choreography work for her. Just adapting the choreography to her ability. Yeah. That's a true, that's a professional. The winner, of the first episode of All Stars 8 is Kahana Montrees. our first win, right? Yeah, incredible. Hey. Congratulations. You really showed us, girl. She's, oh, a, show she's girl. a show girl. Oh, because she's a show girl. Okay. I thought you were just saying words in a really weird way. And then the bottom two, unfortunately, are Monica and Darian. Darian, which, which is also like, I feel like there might have been better choices for the bottom. I agree. Because Darian didn't really do bad yeah. and all the runways and the Billie Eilish look is iconic. Iconic. Although it may be one of those things that the producers at the time didn't know would be so iconic. I don't know how you Oh, could maybe miss the it. producers maybe the producers were like, "Who is she? She's Billie. She's the Billie." And then the other producer was like, "I don't know who she is. I lash I lash someone." 
we get the bottom two, they plead their case. My heart was breaking in half. Yeah. A million pieces for Alexis. Monica. Oh. Well, yeah, and then <laughs> my heart didn't break nearly as much as Alexis Michelle. Now, Alexis Michelle was so moved by the fact that two people in this competition were in the bottom two yeah. that she burst into tears. And was that it, or was she just happy to be there? Nope. She was very sad. She said that she understood what they must be feeling and she can't believe they have to feel that. It's like the rules are brand new. She just found out. Listen, it was so insane. Someone said on Twitter, like, if you were annoyed by Lucy LaDuca, wait until you see Mother. <laughs> and it was like a screenshot of Alexis Michelle crying. I don't watch Untucked, okay? I've got so much going on in my life. You know, I've got a dog and a husband and And, and to one. actually end Untucked for you takes a while. It does take a while because it's so big. But I did watch this Untucked solely for Alexis Michelle. And I have to say it was worth it. People who cry because they're safe. Oh, it's, it, it, I, I got, I have chills. I have chills because it's stupid and you're being stupid and I love it. Never change. Kahana wins. She gets to battle it out with the lip sync assassin, which is Aja. <gasps> Aja oh, comes it was back. so exciting to see Aja LaBeija there. She's so hot. Oh, she she's looks so, so good. She's so gorgeous. I'm and so I happy for her. Yeah. Happy for her. Just seeing the two of them go at it and listen, free come dress. I'm sure it's not the first time either of them have worn that song. That's dress. one of your it's, favorite go-to. It's one of my, yeah. yeah. Well, I have so many dresses and they do freak me out a little. <laughs> Is that what it's about? So they <laughs> battle it out and unfortunately, Aja's just too good. Kahana could not beat her. Yeah. So the $10,000 tip rolls, rolls over to next over. week. And Aja rolled out the door. But not before revealing the lipstick of the contestant who oh, would yeah. be leaving us. But before they did that, they talked about the twist, the fame games. Everyone who gets eliminated gets to still share their runways and whoever wins at the end gets $50,000. What do you think of this twist? Now I didn't fully understand what they meant by you get to show all your looks. I thought, oh, they're just having the girls now pay photographers to actually take pictures of everything. I was confused too until this second. And then the second episode, we see Monica Beverly Hills walk the runway so in her look. they don't have because I was wondering that too I was like what if they come home and like redo the, all their looks to be better no I think they filmed they film them, them all, all before they leave or maybe they all stay there the whole time because maybe they just filming as quickly and they I don't know but it sounds like I just want to say wow thank you so much for listening to the fans finally about this particular these, issue because these that's, people pay so that's the most much frustrating part money is seeing it's the Irene of it all seeing Irene's yeah. amazing I, I'm gonna talk about all of her looks forever she was the perfect example of why this rule needs to be put in place it's something to Kambwana Kiki's credit Kambwana Kiki has always done yeah they and have I love always that. wanted to yeah. you bring the costumes Get. that you paid so much money for or in Kambwana Kiki's case that you bartered for or something. But to see them on the runway, they get to have their moment. Their moment. I'm it's really thank important. You. I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Did not like the song, but thank you. Then Aja pulls a lipstick out of her bosom. And unfortunately, it's Monica Beverly It is Hills. Monica Beverly Hills, which sucks because we love her. But I don't think it would have been fair for Darian to go. No, I agree. And Monica had the best attitude about it. Well, also, that was the so journey's nice. not over. That's the thing is like, you might be leaving the competition proper, but mm -hmm. you're still in the game. The fame game. And I'm excited for weekly. We will be talking about these girls still. Yeah. I love that. Even though you got sent home, every week people will still be talking about you. We'll still be looking at your looks. You'll still be a part of the conversation. That's, again, wow. I just want to say, wow. Wow. So that is the end of episode one. Should we just head into episode Ooh. two? Let's do it. They get to unpack and find out who voted for who. Actually, well, what? I have a bone to pick with you. Don't do a two episode premiere and send someone home on the first episode. I agree. Let them stay. I agree. We're gonna watch anyways. I and agree. then you could send two people home later, who cares? I was so confused when I heard it was gonna be a two episode premiere and that two people were going home. I was like, uh, in the same. 
Like, in different episodes? What is the point of the what two episode premiere, then? Yeah, Just do that? the one. Yeah, what was that? But thank you for the other thing. They find out that Darian did get a few votes, but they all said, yeah, it was honestly because Monica's story moved us so much. Yeah. And Darian's like, yeah, I get that. I don't I hold that it. against you. I loved how she handled it, too. She's really, she's so quick. Kahana was like, honestly, I couldn't send you home because you were a big part of my win. She was like, oh, is that a size joke? That, very funny. That's why she's got a stand-up special all about God yes. fucking her over or whatever. Isn't that what all stand-up specials are about? God fucks them over? Their mom. We find out that it is an SNL challenge. <gasps> it is RDR you love live. SNL. I do love SNL, and I love was... Bo and Yang. I don't watch the show, but I love him. I tell you about it though, and it's like I, you're I there. like when you tell me yeah. about it. So there's this girl. Okay, her name's Debbie Downer. We get the walk around, and the guest is Bobby Moynihan. <gasps> oh, he's he looks sweet. like such a nerd. He's I sweet. love him so much. Curtis and I love to go on Sunday nights to Dynasty Typewriter here in LA. They have oh, I've gone a couple times. Uh, yeah, you to have. That. Uh, it's fun. We invite. Did you? It's like untitled improv project. And honestly, Bobby's there. Listen to me, Bobby. Honestly, <laughs> Bobby Moynihan's there a lot. And he's just, he's so good. He's such a good improver. Yeah, sweet. He's sweet. super sweet. So that was really fun to watch. So they have to do these skits and... They have to do them live. They have to do them live, which honestly, did it feel that way? Because no, because no then they still have the ru the, ru the the runway. Of, yeah, I was confused by that. I did want someone to mess up. Maybe they did only no got one tape. Up? Well, I still, I feel like somebody should have messed up. James, you could have messed up. So let's go to the runway first, at least like to see Rue and, and then the we'll guests, and then we'll, then we'll just watch. Rue comes out, and she's kind of got a Norma Desmond eye makeup on, which I don't think we've seen in a long time. Yeah. But she's very aubergine. Yeah, she looks gorgeous. I love it. I love the difference. The eye makeup is a little shocking. I like it though. Yeah. Because we see the same stuff over and over, and it is gorgeous, but I liked it. Then our guest judge... From Black Lady Sketch Show oh, is Robin so Thede. We love Robin Thede. I so love funny. her. Let's just go through the skits first. Oh. Yeah. Did I L O L? No. Up first, I we can't have remember. I can't CDC, remember. the opening skit. Heidi, Lala, James, and Nisha. And they're talking about how drag race is spreading around the world. Like it's a disease. Okay, I don't know if you've heard of a pandemic, but they're annoying. Did I, I LOL out? the CDC on RDR Live? Yeah. No. I enjoyed James Mansfield. I like James. I think because everyone else had a similar energy, James remained kind of lower. Her line delivery was really funny. There were a couple moments where I felt like I could see her staring down and kind of having an out-of-body experience. <laughs> like, I don't know where she went. But to me, that made it even funnier. And when they stripped and James showed us that body, I was into it. Hell yeah. We saw a lot of James' body in this episode, and I just want to say thank you. Could I have another? Then we move on to the host of SNL. I'm sorry. <laughs> Already are live. Candy Muse. And like a lot of hosts, you know, they insult one of the cast members and then they come oh, out. Oh, I thought she did a good job. So she insulted Kasha Davis yeah. and came out. Did you LOL? I did LOL. I giggled. I giggled. I chuckled. Candy Muse is charming as fuck. Candy was really smart to pick that too because it was just kind of on your shoulders. It's not like about how the other people are doing too. 100%, 100%. So this was really good. And Kasha was really funny. And Kasha is funny. Yeah. Yeah. Then we move on to the skit with Jimbo and, and Jessica. Jessica Wilde. So this is when I wanted to point out, look at how giant her titties are, and Jessica's, and the waist. tiny the waist looks. I know. I agree with the judges. Jimbo's decision to be so grounded while Jessica is flying off the handle. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. The Bert and Ernie of it. It was brilliant. I couldn't take my eyes off of her because she was even doing weird facial expressions. She would even like kind of sit there and twitch. I thought she was really, really good. And then at one point, Kasha Davis comes in and talks about her bush. Listen, for me, part of me, Kasha Davis bush me. stuck out in a good way. Yeah. Her playing off of Candy as the host was so good. Her coming in with that belly button front and center. In the fabletic. Kasha Davis really killed it this week for me. Then we get the news weekend update kind of vibe. The hosts are Lala and Heidi and they were fine. It was fine. Yeah, I thought Heidi did a really good job. I could tell Heidi wanted to do more with it. There were moments yeah. where I could kind of see her face like, should I? No, I'm gonna pull back. And I'm in that position a lot where I want to be funnier, I want to do more, but then you're stuck with someone that you're stuck with, you know? And there's only yeah. so much you can do when you're stuck with someone. 
you know? Then we bring on as like the guest, which they do on Weekend Update. Oh, pussy. Kahana as a pussy cat. I thought she looked incredible. She looked incredible and I laughed, but not for the reason Kahana wanted me to. I laughed because every time she said meow, it seemed to be an afterthought. <laughs> She's fully dressed as a cat, talking about being a cat. And then she'd be like, and that's why I did it. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. It was very funny. And then our final skit. Oh, very coffee talk. Coffee talk, I right? Liked we this. have Darian and Alexis talking about Michelle Visage. Michelle Visage comes in and talks about Michelle Visage. Do you love it? I love it. I love it. Do you love it? I love it. I thought it was great. I I, I was it, smiling I, the whole time. I thought, I thought Darian it was, good. was much stronger than Alexis, but I loved yeah. that Alexis made her titties gold. That's funny. Yeah. There's gold in them, their hills. Yep. Then we get the runway. The runway is net. Nothing but net. What was it? Net. Net, net gala. gala. Net Oh, yeah, because the Met Gala just happened. Yeah. I love nets. Okay, I love catching them. Up first, we have Nisha Lopez. Now, this garment is gorgeous. Yeah, pretty. But again, I said it earlier, and I agree with Carson, it's not enough for Drag Race. It either has to be the most perfect gown in the world, and the look has to be so put together, no one can have a note, or there's gotta be an element to it that's with different. With all those, these looks that she does, I just don't understand if they're referencing something, what the reference is, and I don't know why. It's cool. Maybe the thing with Nisha, for me, part of me, obviously, is that I can't, out of everything we saw her in. I can't pin it down and say that's Nisha Lopez. I can't pin Nisha down, Lopez. that's Nisha Lopez. Exactly. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I don't know who Nisha Lopez is. Yeah. James Mansfield. I do know who James Mansfield is, though. And this is cute. I loved it. Net, hair net, aqua net. Showing off her body. I love that she said, I learned how to pad properly because it is a learning process. And she did it. She looks so good. Her coming. body looks so good. I loved the hair net that was made with like rhinestone. What was that? Rhinestone rope? And that she had like a ponytail coming out for no reason. So good. So iconically James. One of my favorite James Mansfields yeah. ever. We've only had three, I guess, but still. Candy Ooh. Muse coming out with her own face. Is that her own face? face? Yes, bitch. Whoa, On she looks netting. hella cool. And the pink, the pink that matches the big pink on her face. It's all just so goddamn good. This is like David Bowie meets current art. I love it. She did She mention... loves an art. Remember in her original season when she did the, the yes. drawn on? I loved that. Yeah. I've always loved everything Candy does. Even that ugly green thing she did. I loved it. Up next, what was for me a misstep? Mrs. Kasha Davis. Oh yeah. She's a butterfly net? I mean, I think that was the goal, but She's holding a butterfly net that's white. Meanwhile, everything but her else is black. her nettery is black. So that just seemed like an afterthought. What kind of effy trinket, Hunger Games? It's a bummer, isn't it? Yeah, it's the bummer games. Up next, scary, we have Jimbo. Ew! Oh, she's the internet. Yeah. And she's gonna kill you. I thought it was weird and different and kind of cool. I didn't understand the need for the, I'm assuming, a highly placed vagina? Are those all the USB ports maybe for it to plug things into? But that's not where your vagina goes. All right, Meg, let's take a look at that vagina. Yeah, I didn't understand the vagina part, but I do like everything else. She looks like Hellraiser. Yeah, it's scary. It's scary, I like it, but yeah. it's also, I'm scared of it. Oh, we got more butterflies. Now we have Jessica Wilde who actually did do like a full butterfly net thing. I wish more of the bodysuit had been included in the net. Like the legs and the arms I think are so fucking brilliant. Yeah. I would have loved to see that carry through on her body. You know what my favorite net is? And maybe but I would do beautiful. this on the runway. I love those little princess mosquito nets that you put down to go over your bed. I've dreamed of burying you in one of those. I would love that. Heidi in closet, coming out with her kind of signature mouth all over the netting. It's not my favorite, but I, I think it's kind of cool. It's a cool idea. I think she looks cool. It's like a modernish. And, and I like it that these are her very... branding. The mouth looks good. Like it goes perfectly with the background. You can't really tell that it's netting. You can't tell it. It's like a neoprene netted. Yeah. But it is cool. I mean, it's I don't like the length cool. of that pant. See, I think that is kind of interesting. I think it's bizarre. Hmm. Up next we have Lala Re. I think I got distracted during this part. 
Here's well, my issue. Interesting. Here's my issue. It's an interesting proportion. It's the I proportion. love the neck. I love the neck and the shoulders, but the knees and toes. It's so bizarre to me that it seems like she filled everything up here so heavy, and then everything else just kind of fell away. I'm curious as to why she didn't carry the fabric from her shoulders into the bottom of the dress to kind of balance her out. Because it does feel very top heavy. And then the bottom is almost an afterthought. It's the finishing touches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then we have Kahana Montrese. Ooh, this was good. This was really good. Yeah. No notes. Also, she seems to be the only one that's done like an underworld, like a, she's like an undersea goddess, right? Yeah, she had little shells. When they closed up on her stuff, you could see yeah. the little shells. I was sunburn. surprised no one did like fish caught in a net, mermaid caught in a net. Yeah, that would be funny. Yeah. I like when mermaids are in distress. Up next, this one surprised me and I loved it. Darian Lake oh. as a basketball in a basketball hoop. I loved it. I Wait, she's a basketball? She's a basketball. She's not a bu one of those butterflies? No, bitch. Oh, she's a basketball. She's a basketball. <gasps> Swish. I loved it. I wish the netting had been incorporated into the outfit. It was truly just like a hula hoop with netting on it that she held up and then kind of put down. But you know what? When it comes to Drag Race All-Stars runways, you got to go balls to the wall. And she went balls to the runway. Yeah. Well, one singular ball. Who needs two? I absolutely love it. I dated an ex-boyfriend that only had one ball. You dated an ex-boyfriend <laughs> who only had one ball. Okay. And finally, what I have kind of been hinting towards this, uh, this entire time, if you're going to come out in just a dress, it has got to be perfection. And that is what Alexis Michelle did. Ooh, this Alexis is Michelle. so good. This is very Zach Posen. It is structured. It is yeah. it's a nude and black netting. The hair and the makeup and the... and. And you see, but then it. Ooh, I'm getting chills. It it's is really perfection. good. She looks so good. And then the eliminated queen playing for the Fame Games, Monica Beverly Hill. Ooh, body! I love it. This is a good net look. It's okay. I, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's not blowing me out of the water. Is it but blowing it's... you into the games? It's blowing me into the games. Okay. I think it's a really good start off to the fame games. And I love seeing her feel herself on the runway. She's showing off that gorgeous body. Yeah. And you can tell she's just so happy to be there. So beautiful. So proud of her. We find out the winner of SNL, not SNL, is Jimbo. Jimbo! Which, from her performance and her look, as scary as it was, I get. I'm on board with it. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I hated Kasha's look. I was going to say, I loved Kasha in the challenge, but her runway look. Yeah, was, her runway was look. A bummer. Looks, yeah. So, the bottom two are Nasha Lopez and Kahana Montrese, who won last week. Who? That's hard. I want to say that I didn't mention this in the previous episode. Did you see who Nasha voted for in the first episode? Monica. Could you believe that? I was a little taken aback. Yeah, that's not nice. What are you trying to do there, I guess, is my question. You fly back to Chicago weekly. You still are holding on to this Chicago identity. And she's a Chicago girl that you've known since she was a teenager. I don't know. It didn't sit right with me. It didn't feel good. It didn't feel And right. I guess you could say, like, because she said, like, I need to be excited by what I see. But it's also, like, but... But she's your friend. Yeah. She's someone you've known for decades. I didn't like it. Yeah, it, it did leave a kind of a bad taste. So seeing her in the bottom two, sure. Just I was like holding her on. Outfits. I was holding on to a little bit of that, and I was like, "Well, Carm, yeah. listen, this is part of it. Okay, we're just responding to what we saw on TV. Ultimately, I like Nisha Lopez. I'm happy. Yeah, with her. yeah, and she's but but that amazing. was that was a bummer. And seeing her in the bottom, I thought it seemed pretty obvious. I thought it seemed pretty obvious too. Yeah. I, by Nacia's own words, I want to see someone that excites me. Or at honest, least exciting. Someone with an identity that is yeah. visually immediately clear. She's gorgeous, but I just don't know what her drag is. 
Yeah. So they have a lip sync off between Jimbo and Pangina Heels. Now I do want to say I've seen the talk on the internet and you're not wrong. It was kind of a bummer of a lip sync, but I think it was the song. I don't think it was them. Yeah, it was definitely the song. It was the song. Pangina wins. It rolls more money over to next week. Now the tip yeah. is $30,000. Kind of a gag because remember Huge how gag. upset Jimbo was when she got sent home yeah, by Pangina? by Pangina. And then Pangina beat her again. She's over. Well, it, she knew she wasn't going to win. Yeah. So and you can't win against Pangina. Well, I don't know, though. With that song, you probably could. What was the song in? I did it watch like, it. Do, 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 like that. So Pangina wins. She pulls out the lipstick, and it is Nisha, Nisha Lopez. Losing both Chicago representation in the first two episodes feels feels bad. Mean. It does not feel good. It doesn't feel great. Well, Chicago darling Abhijit just killed it at the Alaska pageant, right? Oh, she lost. But how did they do? Good. She lost. Oh, but she was good. You're only as good as your win. <laughs> I think Abby oh, got no. fucked over in the fact that she was first. I think her name is two A. Okay, it needs to start with a lower letter. Her presentation to me, for me, was outstanding. Her interview to me, for me, outstanding. Oh, I saw the clip of her sitting on the puppet. Cute. But I think it would have stayed with the judges or made a bigger impact if a few other people had gone first. Because both times in those particular instances where she had this killer moment, these killer moments, we forgot about it because we had so many other people to get through. I think that's where she kind of I just thought about fucked. doing Alaska's pageant and my, my stomach dropped and said, no, I want to do it. I think you would be amazing at it. I don't know that that's the case, but I really want to do it. Especially after seeing, okay, Tony Soto was in the pageant. I saw Tony. Hair looked amazing. Tony killed it. Tony killed the pageant, which I'm going to be honest with y'all and Tony. Hey girl, she doesn't watch this. I did not expect from her. She's not a pageant girl. She's not a Well, she's not really a, known as she's a, a performer. Host. She's a host. She's a great host, but, but there's not found, been many performances from her. But she found what worked for her, and she did it so well. And I was so blown away. I've been loving the clips that I've been seeing. I was so impressed. I was so impressed. But congratulations, Nikki Jizz. And truly <gasps> oh! She's so funny. You know I love cum. What? Her dress is covered in it. Yeah, Nikki Jess was so fucking good. I'm so proud That's of her. what I would do for fame, now fame. Covered cum. in cum. I don't know that you'd be on Paramount Plus. Maybe Max? Well, that has been two episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. If you liked it, ooh, why? cool. <laughs> Go ahead and hit that subscribe <laughs> button. And of course, that little notification bell. Join us on Patreon for behind the scenes footage and never before seen exclusive content. We're both on Cameo, so if you want a message from us to a loved one, a hated one, or both, hit us up there. Yes, and we could do shamios too. That's like a mini episode just for you with just us in the background. It has like it's a, the, cool. oh, it's, it's a big we could deal. Do it. Yeah. A big deal. So visit imhotheshow.com and get you one of those. Also, all of our merch is on Drag Queen merch. So we saw some of our merch out in the wild <gasps> at DragCon, which was so exciting. So get yours and you can be just like like everyone else. <laughs> yeah. And remember, an apple a day. I, I I've never forgotten that. Bye. You know, they did the SNL episode, right? Yeah. And they did skits. Yeah. And you remember how I was like, I want someone to make a chat GPT of us and do it and have AI write a script for us. Have a robot write our script. Yeah. Someone came through. Oh, fuck. I will send you the transcripts now and I demand that we perform it. They're short. Okay. Wow. Okay. They're short. I'm going to send you the script so you can have it. Y'all don't know this, but we do actually script everything we say. Yeah. And it's been Nothing really hard up. because of the writer's strike. Yeah. We're not technically supposed to be writing right now. It's been of the so strike. difficult. So we're saying that this is all improv, but really a robot writes everything we, we say. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. This is AI writing an episode of IMHO the show. Hey there. It's your favorite drag queen extraordinaire, Alexis P. Bevels. And it's your favorite straight man who loves to hate on everything, Darby. What? And welcome to IMHO, the show where we share our unfiltered opinion on all things pop culture. That's right. 
from celebrity gossip to the latest Netflix binges. We're here to spill the tea and serve the realness. And let's not forget the most important part, Darby, our fabulous <laughs> outfit. Well, now I know it was written by a robot. <laughs> oh yes, because who needs substance when you can have sequins and feathers? Exactly, darling. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of fabulousness, can we take a moment to appreciate your shirt? It's like a picnic table cloth on steroids. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I'll have you know that this is a designer piece, and it's perfect for our show because it's both loud and opinionated. <laughs> Just like us. So sit back, relax, and get ready for some hot takes and even hotter looks. This is IMHO, and we're here to slay. <laughs> Can you imagine if our intros to every show was that long? About, like, IMHO is going to kill you. It's so good. This is what would happen. You better write a will, you bitch. We're going to fucking kill you. This reads like a sugar baker skit. It kind of does. It kind of does. Can't really okay. Oh, my God. What's next? Okay. Hey there. It's your favorite fabulous drag queen, Alexis P. Bevels, reporting for duty. And I'm Darby, the token cisgender straight white male on IMHO. <laughs> what did they tell this robot? <laughs> but don't worry, I make up for it with my stunning lack of knowledge on anything pop culture related. <laughs> I know things. They got, you got red. I'm straight and I know nothing. That's right, Darby. And together we make up the dynamic duo that is IMHO, the show where we get our honest, unfiltered opinions on all things trending from music and movies to fashion and politics. And when we say honest, we mean brutally honest. <laughs> so buckle up because we're not afraid to spill the tea and drag anyone who deserves it. <gasps> But we're also not afraid to stand the people and things we love. Because at the end of the day, we're just two queer weirdos trying straight. to make sense of this crazy world. So join us every week for some laughs, some shade, and some real talk. This is IMHO The Show, where opinions matter, but not really. What is this? Is this a commercial? I don't know, but I am obsessed. Why am I straight? Well, hello there, gorgeous. Welcome to IMHO, the show where we give our totally unfiltered opinions on anything and everything. And by unfiltered, we mean we'll say whatever pops into our heads. So brace yourself for some wild ride, folks. <laughs> Today, we've got a special guest with us. Drum roll, please. It says Darby tries to do a drum roll with her mouth. <laughs> that sounds like... <laughs> it sounds like... <laughs> no, 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 no. It's none other than Darby! Wait, what? I'm already here. All oh, right, sorry, I forgot. Sometimes I get confused with all the glitter and sequins. It's okay, girl. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> so, Darby, what's on the agenda for today's show? Well, we're going to talk about the latest fashion trends, celebrity gossip, and the best pizza joints in town. <laughs> Sounds like a juicy lineup. And I heard a rumor that you have a secret talent you've been keeping from me. <laughs> oh, you mean my ability to eat an entire pizza by myself? No, not that one. Oh. I meant the one where you can juggle flaming batons while reading, citing Shakespeare. Darby's eyes widen. You can't see, but they're really wide right now. How did you know about that? It says winks. Let's just say I have my sources. Well, I guess I have no choice but to show off my skills now. <laughs> Do I need a flaming baton? <laughs> That's the spirit. And while Darby gets ready for her fiery performance, we'll take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks, and don't go anywhere. IMHO will be right back. We should start using those. Honestly, maybe that I was... don't support the WGA strike because this was incredible. So solid, right? Yeah. Who needs writers when you have a robot making you straight? That was at Hyperjuice. Wait, what is this? Oh, they're a graphic designer. Yeah, we like them. Thank you for making... First of all, thank you, God, for making robots. And then thank you at Hyperjuice for creating what can only be described as... I thought it was titillating. I thought it was thrilling. I think we're getting another queer tea. We did it, folks. Okay, we love you. Bye. Ah!